Everybody in the South knows that with any good barbecue, you got to have a good coleslaw. And today, I want to share with you how I make a good coleslaw. Uh, we start with some shredded cabbage. Now, this is one of those packages of slaw that I've got from the um, fresh produce section in my supermarket. And all I do is add four ounces of good mayo. You know, in the South, we like our blue plate. Next, we're going to come with quarter cup of just regular old white sugar and that's going to start pulling some of the moisture out of that slaw and you just want to mix it around a little bit and the secret to a good cold slaw is letting it set up but what we like to do is hit it with two ounces of apple cider vinegar and that's really going to bring a twain kind of the acidity to balance out this slaw once you get it all mixed in, it's time to start thinking about how you want it to taste. We've got some sweetness there. We've got some acidity to balance it out. Now I'm going to come back. I'm going to put in a teaspoon kosher salt, a teaspoon of just regular old black pepper. You can use cracked pepper, whatever. It just kicks it up a notch. And mix it around. It's real simple. And I like my slaw to, to really have some good flavors to it, not just to be plain tasting. And that's what the vinegar and the, and the pepper does. And the mayo just kind of binds it together. And you can kind of double this recipe depending on how much you're making. I'm just making enough for my family right now. But the ratios, you just add more, whatever you need. More slaw, more mayo. As it sets, it'll wilt down some, start pulling out the moisture. But the last thing I like to do to set this slaw off is give it just a eighth of a teaspoon of celery seed. And it's just another little unique flavor that sl a good slaw should have. And you mix that in, go back in the fridge with it for a little while, all these flavors will start kind of jiving together and you'll have a delicious coleslaw that goes great on a pulled pork sandwich or right along the side, a big old slab of ribs. That's how Killer Hogs makes coleslaw.